Mm -hmm. um, this idea of the uh, protection or not an element of the crime of violation? Yes. You know, I think that uh, what is an element of the crime of violation yes. is you'd have to prove I was there. Well, you now have the evidence yes. that I wasn't. Oh. And now you have the evidence that these fraudulent mental health evaluations yes. uh, were, in it. you know, for the cop that thinks that I'm not going to sue you for a trillion dollars, yes. You know, just one fraudulent statement, yes, that I had actual notice of court hearings, right, that I was a credible threat when the petitioner didn't sign the protection order, yes. You know, I am going to actually sue each employee of the state. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not one of these um, petitioners, yeah, litigants, yeah. That's going to just say, well, why don't you give me a million dollars and I'll walk away. I'm actually going to take all your assets. I'm going to put you in prison for as long as the law allows. I've explained to you my approach to lawsuits is I take as much money as possible and I make sure that you go to prison. Now, I want you to understand um, I'm really very wealthy. Yes. And you've treated me like total crap? Yeah. Because you just wouldn't acknowledge these emails as being uh, admissible in court? Yes. Well, now you have the actual screen prints of that day. <laughs> so if you thought you were going to walk away with the ownership of anything, yeah, you'd be mistaken. <laughs> and then there's that mandatory restitution. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then there's the criminal lawsuits as a litigant. You know, can I represent myself as the the uh, self-represented litigant when naming myself as the plaintiff. Yes, because I mentioned this plaintiff in their vexatious way of doing things. Yes, see, I'd like it to say Paul Chad Budnick plaintiff versus state of Washington defendant. And then I'd like to name every employee of the state right now. Well, you call yourself the state of Washington. Mm -hmm. I really questioned your state of mind. And now I'm wanting to be the plaintiff. And then I'd like to represent myself as a plaintiff before a jury trial. Yes. Where I call to the stand one employee after another after another. Now, I know there's a lot of things that I'd like to do in life. Yeah. But if I had to take two or three years out of my personal time so that I could get really used to representing myself. I'd like to tell the jury uh, the truth. Well, the truth is, yeah, that somebody decided to make up fake crimes, yeah, where they said I was in Squim, Washington, where I wasn't, yeah, mm -hmm. and then they decided to try me for fake crimes because of the refusal to admit the evidence, yes, and then when I asked for the notice from the state of jurisdiction because I wouldn't uh, appear in court, yes, it turned out that Mike Van Proyen was getting all my mail, and then, yes, after they had used a fraudulent mental health evaluation because of their refusal to admit the evidence that I wasn't there, yeah. they released me. Yes, they did. Mm -hmm. They released me for being mentally ill and mentally defective. Yes, for knowing I wasn't in Squim, Washington. Oh. Now, you can't really have two counts, yes, two charges of violating the restraint provisions. Mm. Now, let's look at it again. State's response to defendant's motion to dismiss. <laughs> Instead of it saying state of Washington as a plaintiff versus Paul Chad Budnick defendant. Yes. I'd like it to say Paul C. Budnick as the plaintiff. Yeah. Versus state of Washington as the defendant. <laughs> you know, it's somewhat interesting. My name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one says, oh, wait, wait just a minute here. Yeah. Did say somebody said Paul Chad Budnick and the other one says Paul C. But does the state consider me Paul C. or Paul Chad? Yeah, because I think it would have used my whole middle name. <laughs> now you know how I feel about the use of my name. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Paul C. Budnick as the defendant. Paul Chad Budnick as the defendant. Yes, yes, yes. Now, this is the criminal complaint that did include my middle name. Yes. 
And then this is the state response that did not include my middle name. <laughs> is there an obligation on the part of the prosecuting attorney's office? Yes. When naming a defendant to have to use the actual name of the criminal complaint? <laughs> or can you arbitrarily change it to a to an initial? <laughs> Now, I think I could actually just see you for that because I do not like it. <laughs>